A thousand mourners have wept for the two little boys who drowned off Glenelg on New Year's Day. The Burundi refugees remembered as great mates whose lives were taken before they even began. The saddest of goodbyes to two very popular little boys. 11-year-olds Frank Ndikurio and Thierry Niamungere farewelled by a thousand mourners at Craigmore Church. Bye-bye, our every son. That see you. You will always forever be remembered. That you will be remembered forever. The refugees from Burundi drowned off Glenelg Beach on New Year's Day. They were playing with family and friends when a wave knocked them off a rock wall. Today, those closest to the two best friends sang for them <laughs> and remembered them. He always told my mom that once he grew up, he would make sure that he would build her a house to, to thank her for everything that she'd done for him. Dear Frank and Terry, I won't forget you will always be in my heart. Their school teachers also paying tribute, as did their soccer coach, a sport at which they both flourished. On the field they showed passion and soccer skills, as well as the determination. Both families had worried about how they would pay for the boys' funeral. Today's service made possible thanks to generous members of the public who donated thousands of dollars. We as a community we embrace and mourn with the families because all of us have a common bond. They hope the tragedy will lead to better safety signage for internationals at our beaches. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News.